After a long 18 months of living in isolation, love took center stage at a senior's home in White Rock. Two residents who found each other during the pandemic tied the knot in a small ceremony in front of family and friends. CTV's Alyssa Thibault has their story. Okay, rub those lips together. A final touch as Christine Conan prepares to walk down the aisle. Oh, my dress is something from when I was nursing and I've never worn it before and I decided to wear it. Downstairs, her groom waits patiently. So how are you feeling today? A little nervous right now, but as a right okay. This wedding is a result of a whirlwind romance. Last October, in the middle of the pandemic, 90-year-old David Wright looked over at a group of women in the bistro. The one looked over at me and smiled, and I, and I smiled back. I just suddenly came over me. I didn't know her name or nothing. Both widows, the two formed an instant connection, bonding over music, and David moved quickly. Just asked me if I, at first, if I'd like to go out for meals and back with him, and then it started in the end where he asked me if I'd like to marry him. Wonderful. We were very, all very happy for them. The pending nuptials, an unexpected joy in a tough time. It's been a long year and a half. Yeah, so it's this is our first event since the beginning of the pandemic. It couldn't be better. It's just a happy time for all of us, and we've all been so excited. With family and friends looking on, David smiles at his soon-to-be bride. Then the vows. I promise to love you completely. I now declare you husband and wife. You are... And with that, the happy couple start their new life together. We both give them a second chance. And uh, it's something that we know we're going to take them full benefit of. Alyssa Tebow, CTV News, White Rock.